On March 4, 1964, Dominic Delissimo was tending bar at the now famous Anchor Bar restaurant in Buffalo, New York. Late that evening, a group of Dominic's friends arrived at the bar with ravenous appetites. Dominic asked his mother, Teresa, to prepare something for his friends to eat. They looked like chicken wings, a part of the chicken that usually went into the stock pot for soup. Teresa had deep fried the wings and flavored them with the secret sauce. The wings were an instant hit and didn't take long for people to flock to the bar to experience their new taste sensation. From that evening on, buffalo wings became a regular part of the menu at the Anchor Bar. The phenomenon created in 1964 by Teresa Bellissimo has spread across the globe. Although many have tried to duplicate the buffalo wing, the closely guarded secret recipe is what made Frank and Teresa's the proclaimed best wings in the world. What's going on guys and welcome back to The Hungry Road. This week I am in Buffalo, New York, home of the Buffalo Wings. You already know what's going to happen here. I have been on a trend lately of wings and salads, but that's kind of my diet is meat and vegetables. I can't do a whole lot of carbs and that's kind of the story here. So, so today we went to Anchor Bar and the Anchor Bar was one of the legendary starters of the buffalo wing the anchor bar and duffs both said to have started the buffalo wing trend but it's neither here or there i don't care who did it i'm just very happy they did so here at the anchor bar they have several different flavors you can choose from mild medium hot extra hot spicy hot barbecue honey bourbon barbecue chipotle barbecue spicy garlic parmesan honey garlic and extreme heat and you guessed it i have extreme heat i love a nice hot wing i might have the taste buds of a thai person or an indian person i need all the spice i need to shed a tear a little bit so let's get started here so they got their own blue cheese comes with it Anchor bar, blue cheese there. That is nice. Let's get a little shake there in case something has settled in it. Tear it off. Nice and creamy. It's got a little yellow tint to it. Not bad. Slide this forward. Let's go with a flat first. I don't really prefer flats over drums. Let me know in the comment section what you prefer, flats or drums. I prefer doesn't matter. My fiance likes the drums, so I always eat the flats first in case she might show up and <laughs> eat my drums. But here it goes nothing. Oh, I'm gonna show you the wing. So here's the extreme heat wing. Looks like a little darker than red. Usual red, darker than buffalo. Got some big red pepper flakes on there. See what we got here. It's got a it's got a nice peppery smell. Hope I don't regret this. I just reviewed the footage and the phone stopped recording as soon as I took a bite and I already know how it's gonna look. Like it was too hot, I couldn't handle it, I had to edit it out. No, the phone storage got full. That's how much I've been recording lately. So let's try this again. Got the flat here. We do the whole thing all over again. Boom. Wing, super spicy. Get the blue cheese. When I first put the wing to my mouth, I feel the heat, then it goes away, then it creeps back up on you. It's really good. It's a good spice, it's like not buffalo-y at all. Almost like a super spicy barbecue almost. Hickory flavor, when you see how well the meat came off the bone, really, really good. Of course, the wings will be crispier if you get them in the restaurant. When they sit in the container like here, they get the moisture, it kind of has a little weather cycle and the moisture stays in the food, so they get a little soggy, but they're still fantastic. Like I said, I gotta eat a little healthier now. Gonna be taking a vacation soon, so I gotta slim up, you know? Anyway, so here in front of me now, I have the strawberry pecan salad. Hope you can get that without losing too much food. So this salad here consists of mixed greens, top of fresh strawberries, pecans, and goat cheese. And it comes with a raspberry vinaigrette dressing. It smells 
fantastic. And let's go ahead and, I don't think I need two. <laughs> I don't put too much dressing because that kind of defeats the purpose of a uh, healthy salad. You put all the, oh, look how thick that is. So let's get a little bit of that on there. Make sure you get the most of it. Get it out of there. Make a nice quick bite here. Get a piece of chicken, a nice small piece of chicken. Got some lettuce, greens, strawberry. Got a pecan here. Add that and a little piece of goat cheese. I love goat cheese, how creamy it is. Boom, got a nice good bite. It tastes like Southern California in your mouth. Real summery, really light. They're delicious. Goat cheese for the win. Anyway, guys, thank you for checking out this video of the Anchor Bar here in, well, this is actually Amherst, New York. Buffalo is like 15 minutes to the west, but it's all Buffalo. You know, University of Buffalo is on the street. Anyway, again, thank you for checking out this video in the Anchor Bar. Check this place out if you're in the area. The original location is downtown Buffalo. I've been there several times. Didn't feel like going down there to film. I'm a little lazy. But remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, do you like flats? Do you like drums? We get a little war going here in the comment section. And remember, my 500 and 1,000 subscriber giveaway, $101 in your pocket if you are subscribed. By the time I, well, not. You get the chance to win $101 if you're subscribed by the time I hit 500 or 1,000 subscribers. In theory, you could win twice. You can win $202. It's not a stimulus check, but it's better than nothing. Remember, there's never an empty tank or an empty stomach on this road. Thanks for coming to check me out. I appreciate it. Stay safe, guys.